Hi, my name is Luke Rocha from Kansas City. I'm an artist and producer. Collage art to me is, it kind of kind of goes hand in hand, in hand with uh, me being a collector of just, just things, objects, records, books, magazines, anything old and thrifty. You know, I'm a big thrift store shopper. I don't really go to art stores. I go to thrift stores and make art groups and stuff I buy. You know, I buy books, you know, I cut a lot of books up. I just have stockpiles and stockpiles of images and I just like to take all those images and put them all into one, one thing. I cut everything out first and I just go through it all and I kind of like sit there like a puzzle, kind of just put it where it needs to be. If I don't like it, I, I sit and look at it for a couple days. I did the album art for it, it's just a collage of various people. This one is titled no, Mug Shots. It's by Pat Rocha, my father. Well, my dad's an artist, and he was uh, pretty influential. A lot of the music that inspires my art is um, late 60s, early 70s, anything that was avant-garde usually, or experimental in a sense. And my music's really sample-based, you know, I'll throw a keyboard on it here and there, you know. It, Keyboards, either anything from a Casio to uh, the new Micro Korg. None of us really use computers. I guess that's that's a motto. Our charm is really lo-fi. Mainly, I started this record label to do that. I wanted to I wanted to do album covers. I wanted to uh, have a look cool looking logo. And I'm more of a, a conceptual type of musician. I, you know, I like the whole package, putting it together as if it were a band. You know. To me, the, the magic and the beauty of just a record and, and its sleeve and, you know, look, looking at the liner notes and all that, I mean, I, I love that. Actually, I started just to DJ maybe a couple of years ago, just out of frustration with uh, other DJs. They weren't really playing anything that I wanted to hear. I think a DJ's job is to, you know, break records and play, play cool things, you know. As far as a dream project goes, it would probably be to uh, resurrect some of my favorite musicians of the past and uh, bring them together and put them on an album that, you know, I produce. Making a song that sticks in your head is something that's, to me, is a great thing. I'm always about being different, you know.